previously on Daughter of Discord. Fluttershy's finally having her baby! It's... normal. Look at her eyes! Never mind. We named her Screwball. I named her Dinky too. She's got wallas, like yours. Which do you want, Silver Tray? Discord Junior or Derpy Junior? Knock it off, you guys. Why won't you let them play? Why doesn't she go back to where she belongs? In the Canterlot Gardens with her dad? You take that back, jerk! Squilly, stop! Catch! Huh? <laughs> Dinky! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey, put me down! Ouch! Oh. Screwball! Are you nuts? I'm not nuts. I'm Screwball! I shall have my revenge! Revenge! <laughs> Screwball! Her powers, they're getting out of hope! She's young! Let her have her fun! Besides, you've gone insane a couple of times yourself. That's it! You're sleeping on the couch tonight! Honey! <laughs> Go back to the Candlelight Gardens where you belong. No. Mad Queen. Just Monster. Monster. Stop. No. 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 <laughs> Screwball, what's wrong? Is it a burglar? No, Dad. You know nothing can get through the invisible force field without our permission. I just had a bad dream. Oh, I see. Care to talk about it? It was... Those things they said about me today. They won't go away. Aw, oh, is that all? Oh, there, there, honey. What do I always say? What fun is there in making sense? No, honey, the other thing. Never bring a pie to a cake fight? No, 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 no. I'll, although you do make a valid point. That is something I would say. No, I, I, I meant about name-calling. Oh. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt me? Exactly. Well, okay, technically the sticks and stones won't hurt you either after a healing spell, but you get the picture. But, Dad, what if they're right? I lost my mind today. I even scared my friends. Aw, oh, honey, every pony loses their mind every once in a while. Even your mother. What? You're pulling my leg. No, no. You can tell when creatures are lying, remember? <laughs> you should have seen your mother at the Grand Galloping Gala. Actually, you can! What, my pretties? Oh, yes. As soon as one of you little birds or monkeys or bears touches this net, you'll be mine! Mine! <laughs> <laughs> ah, isn't she just enchanting? Now you know not to get on your mother's bad side. The treatment she gave you and I today was nothing. Okay. So it's not as bad as I thought. It's worse! I'm crazy on both sides! <laughs> My life is over! Oh, screwball, screwball, screwball. Every pony's crazy. Some just show it better than others. I being one of them. It's nothing to be ashamed of, sweetie. You have something that other ponies don't have. Chaos! And where is that gonna get me? 
Look what it did to you! Screw it! I'm sorry, but... Sometimes I think I might go too crazy. That I might turn evil. That they'll have to turn me to stone! Oh, honey, don't say such a thing! No pony's ever going to turn you to stone, or bring you any harm of any sorts. Not while I'm here to protect you. Did I ever tell you of the time I snapped in front of your mother? <laughs> mm -mm. <sighs> well, it happened while I had your mother imprisoned. It was her birthday, and I brought her friends over for a visit. In the midst of that, she told them she didn't love me. She didn't know I was listening, and... Well, it broke my heart as well as my sanity. I'll spare you the details, but let's just say my rampage involved turning your Aunt Applejack into cereal and Twilight Sparkle's horn into a candy cane. <laughs> oh, it may sound funny to you, but if you seen me at that time, you wouldn't have laughed. I had lost so much control that I ended up physically hurting your mother. I... I could no longer keep her knowing what I did. Knowing that she would never forgive me, so I let her go. But you know something? She returned to me and we finally confessed our feelings for each other. How does this apply to me? Are you saying that no matter what I do, every pony's gonna be okay with it? Well, not every pony. Only the ones that matter. Tell me, Screwy. After today's incident, did any pony forgive you? My friends? Then they're the only ones that matter. For me, that was your mother, and that's what saved me from losing complete control. Your powers are special, my dear. But never lose sight of what is really important. Understand? Um... Sure. Good. All right, let's get you back to bed, shall we? Would you sing me a lullaby, Daddy? <laughs> I, um, I, I think you'd prefer if your mother sang to you. Her voice is beautiful and all, but I also like it when you sing. Mm. Oh, okay, okay. How about we sing our little lullaby together? Please do not cry, my dear. Your daddy is so very here. And if any pony causes you any harm or fear, then I will bring them pain. And drown them all <laughs> in chocolate rain. Cause I am your daddy discord. And you are a piece of me. Remember that one time You took me to the baseball game <laughs> I got my cutie mark And things were never quite the same My wild pitches flew Driving the pony's all insane. <laughs> Cause yeah, I am your daddy, daddy discord. And you're going to sleep right now. I love you, Daddy. I love you too. My little abomination. <laughs> uh -oh! Screw.
Screwball usually followed what few rules her parents gave her, but sometimes she could be a bit of a rebel. She often woke in the early hours of the morning so she could sneak out of the Castle of Chaos and into the Everfree Forest. With her powers, she never really worried about wild beasts. She had her own special place in the forest, a lake which she had turned to chocolate milk so the animals would not come to drink and she could be alone. This was her sanctuary where she could express herself freely. No rules, no judgments, no ponies, just her and her chaos. Hmm, let's see. Oh, those flowers would make great lollipops. And those bushes, marshmallows. Those trees into candy canes. Rocks into gumdrops. Sticks into gummy worms. Woohoo! What Screwball didn't know was that miles away, in a forest much darker than the Everfree, in a large beehive-like structure, a swarm of changelings resided. Their queen, Chrysalis, was sitting on her throne, plotting revenge on her greatest enemies. Ugh, it's hopeless. Since Discord became such a fluffy do-gooder, Equestria's defenses have been harder to penetrate than ever, making it harder for my changelings to feed! Oh, why does that fool always have to get in the way of my plans? Unless I find his weakness, he'll never- My queen? What is it, General Mantis? Can't you see I'm brooding? Apologies, my queen, but the prince is here to see you as requested. Oh, yes. Let him come forth. Ah, oh, my son! You wish to see me, mother? Yes, my dear. As you know, today is your twelfth birthday, meaning it is time for you to go on your first hunt. You, you mean I get to leave the hive? But of course. If you are ever to one day rule as king, then you must be able to find food for your subjects. Are you ready for this, my dear? I... think so. Think? You have to be sure! Now I will ask you again. Are you ready? I'm ready, mother! Show me! What is the first rule of the hunt? Don't get caught. And the second rule? Make sure the pony you turn into is not around. And the third? Don't turn into an alicorn, as that will arouse suspicion unless you take out one of the princesses first. And what is our motto? Love is weakness for the victim, but strength for us. Excellent. Now, since you are still young, I suggest you keep your target simple. Perhaps a young foal of some sort. And steer clear of Canterlot. They're always on the lookout for suspicious characters. And don't return until you had your fill. Go, my son! Make Mummy proud! I will, Mother! General? Yes, my queen? Send out a scout to watch over my son. Make sure he doesn't get into any trouble. He's still a novice, after all. As you wish, my queen. I shall get my best soldier on the job. See that you do. Akari! Yes, General Mantis, sir! Private Akari reporting for duty, sir! The Queen needs someone to keep an eye on the Prince while he's on his hunt. As you are the top soldier among your rank, I think you're best for the job. Watch him carefully, but stay inconspicuous. Do well, and I might promote you. Sir, yes, sir! Hey! What about me, General? I never get any field assignments. Ugh, Bombus. I can do this, General! I can do this! Please! 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 Oh, shut up, you babbling buffoon! Last time you went out into the field, all you could drain was a... a squirrel! Hey! It was a very loving squirrel! Just give me a chance, General, please! Oh, fine. You can both watch the prince. Yes! 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 <laughs> I won't let you down, General! Akari? Yes, General? Watch Bombus too, will you? Ugh, sir, yes, sir. Oh, wow! The outside world is so... colorful! Ah, so 
so many wonderful smells. Oh, look at that grass! It's so green! I wonder what it would be like to roll in... No, no, no. I have to focus. Mm. Now, what did Mother say? The best way to catch an unsuspecting pony is in a closed area. Well, there are lots of closed areas in this forest. Wonder if there are any ponies down there. Whoa, the trees sure are tall here. And so much more... alive. Now, where could I find... What is that? It's beautiful. It's coming from over here. What in the... What kind of place is this? Why is that water... brown? <laughs> wow, a real pony. And a filly. What a stroke of luck. Snorkeling can get boring. <gasps> Feeling, however, never gets old. How'd she do that? Arrgh! Ahoy, mateys! Next stop, Philadelphia, where we shall rob them of their gold, their jewels, and their cream cheese. <laughs> That's right. All the cream cheese, especially the cream cheese. Arrgh! <laughs> Hermes is approaching starboard side! Bubba's with those giant forks! Steer to port! Steer to port! Battle stations, everyone! Man the cannons! Ready! Aim! Fire! Ow! What was that? Probably my stomach. Well, no funny else around. Time to try that spell Mother taught me. Let's see, who do you love most? What the heck is that thing? Her pet? Then it'd be too hard to do. A Pegasus mare? Must be her mother. Nope. Can't turn into adults yet. Hey, what's up with that unicorn's eyes? Ugh, I don't want to be a filly, but... Here. I came here to... Whoa. What? I came looking for you. Your mother's really sick. But why would she send you? Don't you know it's dangerous out here? You're here, aren't you? Well, yeah, but I practically live here. Besides, I thought this forest scared you to death. Uh, yeah, but I gotta be brave. Your mom's looking for you. You're lying. <gasps> You're not Dinky! <laughs> Don't be silly! Of course I'm Dinky! Hey! I'm dead! It's really me! I'm Dinky! No, you're not! I know you're lying! Show yourself! <gasps> what are you? H how did you do that? More importantly, how did you do that without a horn? Swiss cheese legs? Cobwebby hair? See through wings? Unusual eyes? Oh, well, you're one to talk. <laughs> hey, no making fun of the eyes! Who do you think you are posing as my friend? Impersonating ponies is not very nice. But how did you know I was. Ow! Answer my question. Who are you and what are you doing here? What are you, nuts? Ow! I'm not nuts! I'm Screwball! What's the difference? Ow! Will you stop doing that? I'll ask you one more time. What are you doing here? Please, I don't want any trouble. I was just so hungry and uh... You're hungry? Well, why didn't you say so? Ah! If you're hungry, I could just give you something. You like cotton candy? Huh? How about chocolate milk? What's chocolate milk? <gasps> You've never had chocolate milk? What kind of sick, twisted home did you grow up in? Uh... Don't answer that question! 
I don't want to know. I don't want to know what kind of place like that exists. It must be a thing of nightmares. Ugh. Oh well. I say it's about time you tried it. <laughs> Come on, drink it. You want me to drink mucky water? It's not mucky water. It's chocolate milk. Trust me, you'll love it. But I don't really drink... Come on, just try it. Well... Okay. <laughs> this stuff is amazing. It tastes just like love. Well, I don't know about that. But I told you it was good. I gotta have some more. <laughs> I've never seen a creature like you before. I could say the same about you. How do you do all this stuff without a horn? And your eyes are very... Strange, I know. I was gonna say interesting. Well, I'm a... unique pony. You could say I'm the only one of my kind. Really? Huh. What I would give to be the only one of my kind. Why? Are there many of you? Let's just say I have 5,000 brothers and sisters at home. 5,000? Golly! That's a lot of mouths to feed. <laughs> Actually, we get all our food from... Wonder what that is? <sighs> Smells like... cat. <sighs> and scorpion. Wait, that's the smell of... Ah! Cool, a manticore! Last week it was a hydra. Well, let's get out of here! But I can... Run! Look, you're strong! Come on, we can lose him! Wait! You crazy? That thing is huge! Trust me on this. Easy boy. Or... girl. Which one are you? Would you shut up and stop moving for a second so I can help you? That's better. It's okay. I won't hurt you. You won't hurt him? Now, show me what's wrong. Thorn in the paw. <sighs> Typical. You manticores really should watch where you step. Now hold still. This will only take a second. Look out! <laughs> <laughs> How did you- Mom told me to show every beast a little kindness. It amazes me how many angry manicores have thorns in their paws. That was incredible! You were- You were- You must be the bravest pony I've ever met. You were pretty brave yourself. Trying to get me out of danger. Hey, we weren't properly introduced. My name's Screwball. Screwball? That's weird. I know. Was it my idea? No, I mean, it's weird because my name's Mothball. <gasps> We're both balls. Wanna hang out? Hang out? Yeah. I don't have school today. We can play all morning. Play? What's the matter? You don't know how to play? Oh. Well, I'll teach you. I don't know. I really should be getting home. Uh, you can spare a few hours. Please? Well... Please! Mother did say not to return until my stomach was full. Well... Can I have some more of that chocolate milk? <laughs> sure! I can't believe you lost him! Me? This is your mission too! Well, if you hadn't stopped for that chipmunk... I was hungry, okay? It's so hard to find a decent meal these days! What are we supposed to tell the general? And what are we supposed to tell the queen? Sorry, your majesty, we lost your son because private... Bumbus here had to stop and snack on a chipmunk! Why you always gotta blame me? Look, there he is! Don't I find him? Wait... Who is that Billy he is with? 
Hey, he's not disguised! What's he doing? It looks like they're... Playing? Oh boy! What do we do? Should we intervene? No. We must report this to the Queen at once. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's not gonna be happy about this! Mm -hmm. Fluttershy, you're so soft. <laughs> Wake up! Oh, ah! Ah! What the heck was that for? Scarpo's gone! What do you mean, gone? I went to wake her for breakfast, but she wasn't in bed. Oh, she's probably just in the bathroom or the garden or something. I've looked everywhere. The bowling alley? Yes. The swimming pool? Yes. The ice cream room? Yes. The bouncy room? Yes! She's nowhere in the castle. What if something horrible happened to her? <laughs> Don't be so paranoid, honey. Screwball's a big girl. Wherever she is, she can take care of herself. Discord? All right, all right, all right. <sighs> if it'll ease your worry, I'll get my screwball detector. <laughs> Aha! I've got her set. Follow me! Checkmate! Oh, man. Aw, uh, don't feel bad, Moffy. You put up a good fight. How'd you get so good at this? My dad and I would play this using our magic. Your dad has powers like yours? I thought you were the only one. I'm unique for... different reasons. Huh. I never knew hanging out could be so much fun. Five thousand brothers and sisters and you don't hang out with them? Well, they're not exactly my siblings. You see... <laughs> STEP AWAY FROM MY DAUGHTER! Daddy, wait! THAT'S YOUR DAD?! Scribble, my baby! Thank goodness you're right! Mom! Fluttershy, I told you to stay put! Let me take care of this pest! <laughs> Chrysalis... Discord? <laughs> it's been a while, Dizzy dear. You know her? Our paths have crossed a few times. Is that all you can say about us? And here I thought we had something special. What are you doing here, Chrysalis? Shouldn't you be living out your exile in the Changeling Forest? I bear no ill will. I was only fetching my son. I don't believe you've met Prince Mothball. Prince? Son? <laughs> Aren't all Changelings your children? <laughs> Mothball is special. You can tell by his appearance. He is the heir to my throne. You're a prince? Screwball, stay behind me. And what's this? Well, <laughs> I never fancied you a family creature, Discord. And to think, all it took to turn you from the evil lord of chaos to the fluffy do-gooder that you are today was a gooey romance with an itty bitty wimpy pathetic little excuse of a pegasus i think you should leave now your majesty and if you or any of your hatchlings ever come near my family again wouldn't dream of it come son come on girls bye bye What do you think you are doing? I was... I was... You know you're not supposed to go into the Everfree Forest alone! You could have gotten killed! I'm not a baby, Mom. I go out there all the time, and with the exception of that one Hydra, nothing has ever happened. What? Oops. Honey, I don't think the fact that she was out of the forest is the issue here. What were you doing with a changeling? I don't understand. What's a changeling? A changeling is a heartless, soulless monster that takes the form of the one you love and feeds off your love for them, which is exactly what that Prince Hairball was doing to you! That would explain why he looked like Dinky at first. But he didn't seem so bad. He's a changeling! He was feeding off your power! But after I found out who he was, he stayed. So he could satisfy his appetite! Don't you and Mom always say that every creature has a heart? Every creature but changelings. 
They have no hearts. Literally. Oh, Daddy, that's disgusting. They're born without hearts. They're hollow. No heart, no compassion, no morals, no... Hey, Score, close up your chest. You're scaring our child. <sighs> Sorry for the dramatics, dear, but you get the picture. Changelings are cruel, vicious, and cunning. And of all the changelings you could have encountered, it had to be the Queen's favorite son! He was just a kid! Doesn't matter! All changelings are the same! You sound so sure. You still haven't told me how you know Chrysalis. <sighs> to put it simply, she's the reason I became the Lord of Chaos. I thought it was because the ponies called you a freak. I wouldn't have been around those ponies to begin with had it not been for Chrissy. Uh, 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 Chrysalis. I met her when I was a youngling alone in the wild. She was Princess Chrysalis then. Even at that age, she was devious. She didn't seem to mind my appearance and said we were friends. I told her I was looking for a home, and she told me of a land where all creatures were accepted. Equestria? Exactly. And you all know how that turned out. But that wasn't the end of it. Years later, when I ruled Equestria, newly crowned Queen Chrysalis and her changelings took advantage of my disorder and fed off the ponies. She used me! She sent me to Equestria, knowing the ponies would reject me and make me so mad that I would take over so she wouldn't have to do it herself! You're sure that's what happened? Oh, I'm sure! During my three years of exile after I escaped from being turned to stone a second time, she came to my lair to gloat about it, right after I refused to help her in her plot against Canterlot. <laughs> I told her it wouldn't work. Is that all? Eh, pretty much. Why? I mean, the way she spoke to you, it was like you two were close. Wait, did you? <laughs> you, 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 you thought that me and and Chrysalis? <laughs> oh, you really are paranoid, my dear. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You're the only mare who's ever caught my eye. What about Celestia? She doesn't count. I love you, okay? <sighs> okay. As for you, young lady... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disobey you, and I didn't know Mothy... I mean, Mothball was a changeling. We were just having so much fun, and... <sighs> I deserve whatever punishment you have for me. You're grounded for a week. You are not to leave the house, with the exception of school. No friends over. No sweet. Uh, uh, now, now, honey. Uh, let's not go overboard. <laughs> Need I remind you of the first rule of the hunt? Well, I... Don't get caught! It wasn't my fault, Mother. She used her magic to get rid of my disguise. I don't know how she did it, but she just says she's not a unicorn. She's just a filly. Still, you disobeyed me! <sighs> Your hunt was not completely unsuccessful, however. Because of your carelessness, we now know that Discord is married and has a daughter, no less. M m mother if, if I may ask, who is D Discord? <sighs> Discord is the Lord of Chaos. Or was until he was weakened by the love of a female. <sighs> Be grateful you don't have a heart, son. We cannot survive without the existence of love. It is what gives us our power. Feeling love on the other hoof will only lead to your downfall. As it shall for my old friend. <laughs> what are you talking what about? What did you learn about this girl? Well, her name is Screwball. She's very powerful. How powerful? Like... Really powerful! It was incredible! She turned water into this thing called chocolate milk! You should try it, Mother! It's amazing! She changed me back into myself just by yelling at me! And she made these little things called chess pieces move! A and... spitting image of her father, no doubt. <laughs> 
this little chaotic brat could be of use to us. <laughs> M mother you're you're not going to hurt her, are you? No. Not yet, anyway. For now, my son, I want you to find out everything you can about this screwball. You seem to have gained her trust. But I don't understand. What do you need? What are as you- As long as Discord is thriving with power and is on Equestria's good side, I cannot make my attack. For centuries, we have competed for Equestria's throne. I've been searching for his weakness, until I assumed that creature to be as heartless as us! But now, he has something he cares about. Two things, to be exact. We can use his precious little family against him, and take our rightful place as the dominant race of Equestria! <laughs> I don't want to hurt her! What did you say? I mean, she's just... just so nice, and... Mothball, what did I say regarding love? Any form of love, even... <sighs> Friendship. <sighs> that it's a weakness to the enemy, but strength for us. But I thought you said we couldn't feel- We can't! So don't confuse this little... Sentiment with an emotion you know will only destroy you! After all... It destroyed us. Huh? I mean, don't let this little filly get in the way of you becoming great! Understand, son? <sighs> yes, mother. Good. Now go to bed. But it's nine in the morning. DO AS I SAY! <sighs> yes, mother. This could be the opportunity we've been looking for. Mantis! What are your orders, my queen? Send some of your spies to watch Discord and his precious wife. I must know of their daily movements. As you wish, my queen. At long last, he will finally pay for what he did to me. <laughs>